hello so in this today's quick video i was just thinking of uh, recording this video because uh, i disassembled this locomotive uh, for inserting the dcc uh, module and uh, while doing the disassembly i i just misplaced all the knuckle coupler parts i mean it just got disassembled itself uh, as you can see uh, i also have a problem with the rails for this locomotive uh, they also got uh, not seem damaged they just uh, got loose and uh, i have to fix all the rails as, as, as well so here um, in this video i will show you how uh, to assemble the um, knuckle coupler um, this is i think uh, the arnold locomotive and th this has a similar to micro tennis coupler so i am not sure th what the name of the coupler is but it looks like a similar to micro tennis it has a spring and similar parts so um, here are the parts we need uh, to start the assembly um, mainly there are two shanks I'm not sure what you call them but I've seen people call them shank so there is a one where you have the bent wire and the one which is a plain one which goes inside the the wire so if you if you see uh, that one has a, a small hole where you have to insert the wire and then they just fix on one another so the one with the bend wire will will be at the bottom side and the another one will be on the top side so once you have done that you can simply put them inside the box which is a thicker one and it has the shaft a, a small shaft and then there is a gap where they just sit uh, together then uh, in this coupler there is a spring which you have to insert uh, between the gap which you will see in as we uh, as we progress but before doing that I just uh, took the top part and uh, I just hold it on the top because I have tried this before and uh, what happens is if you insert the spring the spring is very sensitive that you just even a little bit of touch can make the spring go come out of that uh, that uh, assembly so for that what I did is I just uh, hold that top part there and slide it and make a room for the spring to insert yeah just a little bit space where you can just insert the spring because the spring has to be inserted and then also pushed to be fully inserted inside so now now you can see i am just uh, trying to put the spring inside it's very this this part is very tricky and uh, you might find that you you misplace your spring sometimes while doing this so uh, do this uh, in the area where you can find the spring easily so i did i did i did this on a white paper so i can see it easily it's very small spring it's very hard to see if you misplace it so once i have uh, put that spring there i just uh, sl i just slid back that top portion and then try to push it the whole assembly remember that this is not a locking mecha mechanism so even if you are pushing it hard it will not lock that 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 box assembly is not going to lock so for it to be safe we need to keep it hold and uh, then try to insert into the locomotives um, yeah in the, in the locomotive and then once it is uh, inside there and uh, once you have screwed it uh, to the body then it is safe then you can use that locomotive and the knuckle coupler easily just do this very gently because you might again uh, make that 
whole knuckle coupler assembly to come out of the locomotive while it is not still uh, grabbed by the screw this is very tricky and uh, very very sensitive part just check uh, the springing action here and uh, don't tight the nut too much because it might uh, affect the movement of the knuckle coupler side by side so just make it little bit loose not too much just little bit just try it by your hand and see if it's uh, loose enough to go side by side yeah I think it's now fine and we can just uh, test this on a track with um, any other locomotive and see if this can uh, if this can couple to other locomotive so as you can see we can easily uh, push it and it just grabs the another coupler so it's working fine and uh, it's good to go so thank you for watching and uh, see you next time bye